So, just a quick recap of assembling. All of your gores in one pile. And then we're going to go to the movies. First movie we're going to see is PG. I always make memory techniques. So the PG means place and glue. So the first thing I'm going to do once I'm ready to assemble is get them all in one pile. Then I'm going to place the gore in front of me. Then I'm going to, even though Tori still doesn't want to, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to open up my glue stick really wide because if I'm standing over my edge, I can control putting my glue heavily and pressing down right on that edge. And I can do it carefully and neatly if I'm standing up. So I placed it. I glued the edge. Now we go to our second movie. It's PG. I'm going to place the gore, and then I'm going to glue it. Okay, so I placed and glued. I'm placing, and now I'm going to glue this edge. Open up that glue stick. Gives you a nice, neat control. And then I'm going to the rated R movie. They're going to drop the F-bomb. And the F-bomb means fold. So you place and glue. Place and glue. And then you fold. Okay, so PG, PG, and then F. Fold. Corgan was concerned that when he was folding and creasing, it looks really ugly. It does. But you want to have glue and glue. Ugly doesn't matter. Loose seams and dry seams matter. So get the glue on both of them, fold it. Just try to keep the seam about a half an inch all the way down. So this one's far away. I can move it before I fold it. Then you want to avoid what Sarah did. She ended up gluing two edges to the same piece. You don't. After I'm done with this edge, I'm coming to this edge. I'm going to glue. So I'm going to run the glue down my edge. I'm going to place. I'm going to glue this edge. Then I'm going to fold. Trying to keep a nice half inch seam. And then really press down hard once you go before you move to the next one. Then I'm going to glue. I'm going to place. I'm going to glue. And then I'm going to fold. So it's place, glue, place, glue, fold. Come to the other side. Glue, place, glue, fold. And you just keep doing that until you are left with this. So here is my balloon. I just made a four panel balloon though. I didn't make an eight, nine, or 10 panel. I have a loose edge on the top. I have a bunch of garbage in the middle, and I have a loose edge on the bottom. Well, we gotta close this. So common sense, the bottom has to be glued and folded onto the top edge. So what I do, I'm gonna take my top edge and I'm gonna fold it in half. Okay, fold that top edge right in half. I'm gonna take all the insides, and I am going to fold them in half. And then I'm going to take my top and I'm going to bring it up and over everything. And now you can see that I have my bottom edge and my top edge with all the inside stuff folded in half. Same thing. Glue on this edge, glue on this edge, fold it over. And that's going to close your balloon. Okay, move the inside. So again, when I'm ready to assemble, I've got a loose edge on the top, loose edge on the bottom. I'm going to fold the top in half to get it out of the way. I'm going to grab all the middles, fold them out of the way, and then pull the top up to line up with my bottom. And you glue both and fold the bottom onto the top. When that's done, we've got to close the top edge. If you don't have string, 
what I recommend doing is about two inches down, twist it. And that's going to keep the heat from escaping. And then take a piece of tape, wrap it around there. If you have string, just use string to tie it closed. You can use a hair tie. You can use a rubber band. But we got to close the top part of that balloon about two inches down. And again, everything I'm telling you is going to be also in the to-do list in written form. Then we inflate it. So once you get it closed, you take a hair dryer or you take a fan and you plug it in so that it gets the air blowing. And you hold the bottom and you're going to put the bottom over it, hold the top and let it open. I'm not even looking for flaws. Let me try to. So I'm not even looking for flaws. I'm just holding it over the launcher so that it opens up and everything is loose and everything dries. And then I'm going to just let it go and it's going to start to rise if you're using hot air. Then what I do is I'm going to look for flaws. I'm going to tape the bottom and then I'm going to look for flaws. And then I'm going to inflate it again. Okay. So let me shut off the recording. You guys can say hi to everybody. There's Tori, Gwen, VJ. We got them all here. There's all of you. <laughs> 